Hello everyone, I am Brian. And I am Arjun. And today we're going to be teaching you about Tourette Syndrome. Tourette Syndrome is a condition that causes quick or repeated movements or sounds called tics. Tourette Syndrome was named after George Scalas de la Tourette. He first described this disease in 1885. There is high evidence that this disease is passed down to families, yet the gene is not found yet. This syndrome may be linked to certain problems in the brain. It also may have to do something with chemical substances, dopamine and serotonin that help the nerves talk to one another. Tourette syndrome can either be severe or mild. About 10% of Americans have a mild tic disorder. Fewer people have one that's actually severe. However, people who have a mild disorder may not know that it's actually a disorder and won't ever seek medical treatment. People with Tourette syndrome start experiencing symptoms between the ages of 7 and 10. Also, this, this disease is more likely to occur in boys than girls. The symptoms of Tourette syndrome can include tics such as arm thrusting, eye blinking, jumping, kicking, repeated throat clearing, or shoulder shrugging. Tics may occur many times a day but can get more severe at random times. People with Tourette syndrome can stop doing the tick for a period of time, although when it comes back, it will be very severe. Many patients with Tourette syndrome who have minor side effects may not be treated because the side effects of the medication can often be worse than the side effects of Tourette syndrome. Contrary to popular beliefs, very few people actually use curse words or inappropriate words to mark their tics, which is actually called coprolalia. Tourette syndrome is different from OCD or obsessive compulsive disorder. People with OCD feel as if they have to do these behaviors. There are no lab tests to diagnose Tourette syndrome, but healthcare providers should do an examination to rule out other causes of the symptoms. To be diagnosed with Tourette syndrome, a person must have started the tics before the age of 18, have had many motor tics and one or more vocal tics, although these tics may not have occurred at the same time, have tics that occur many times a day, nearly every day, or on and off, for a period of more than a year. During this period, there must not have been a tic-free period of more than three months in a row and they must have no other brain problem that could be a likely cause of the symptoms. Drugs used to treat ticks include an anti seizure medication and a blood pressure medicine called clonidine. Some other drugs that can help reduce ticks are botulinum toxin injections for motor ticks or dopamine blockers such as pimazide or haloperidol, but these all have side effects. Symptoms normally get worse in teenage years, but improve in adulthood. 8% of the symptoms might go away over time. Some conditions that may occur in people who have Tourette syndrome can include anger control issues, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, poor social skills, or obsessive compulsive disorder, earlier mentioned in this video. These conditions need to be diagnosed and treated. Be sure to make an appointment with your health care provider if you have tics that are severe, persistent, or interfere with your daily life. Sadly, there is no cure to Tourette Syndrome. But if you wish to learn more, you can visit the Tourette Syndrome Association at www.tsa.org. Thank you so much for watching our video. Roll credits!